Bride of Higara. This is Captain Soban of the fleet, Farron Shah. Looks like you could use a hand. Attention all Sobani, pick your targets and engage. Hello everyone. Hello, hello. This is Captain Soban. Welcome aboard to Starship and Norma Prize for another episode of Master of Orion. Alright, so where we left off, we have defeated the, um, the Nolams. And we are now starting to make our advance to the Barathi. We're going to get ready to go to war with them. I'm really curious to see how strong his, their outposts are compared to ours. And how well our Titan and whatnot can handle them. So anyways, I believe that's what we're going to do. We have our entire fleet up here. At least the majority of our fleet. We have some more coming in that are being built from the... Uh, um, from our main units, or not main units, but our main planets. And I believe like we had these planets going like crazy. Which is really, really cool. These planets are developing like super, super quickly. Because uh, hopefully, hopefully in a good amount of turns and like a couple episodes, we'll be able to build something very massive that'll help us win this entire, um, entire campaign. Anyways, before we start, let's go into um, our uh, our little checklist of what we have for our entire empire. I have no idea how you would actually manage something this large without a checklist. Like, there are so many systems and so many plans under our control that without this system over here, it would be, like, impossible to play this. Anyways, Lost Souls 2 has grown. Now has six out of, uh, six populations, still has a lot to grow. We are building subterranean farms on that planet. Fantastic. And if you're watching this on the playlist, there might be a little bit of repeats from the last episode because it's been a while since I've recorded the series. So I have to kind of like refresh myself of what's going on um, before we really get into the game. So anyways, 8x2 has grown. Now has two population. Awesome. We'll keep you, we'll keep you focused on food so you can grow pretty quickly to get your credits back up in the positives. Uh, advanced data center complete on Angel Moon 2. Now building battle station. Fantastic. And uh, I have to do that sometimes because uh, the, the game volume in this game is actually pretty quiet. And it's actually so quiet that sometimes um, my headset will think nothing is coming through. So it turns itself off, which it just did. So, yeah. <laughs> Wireless headsets can be a little fickle sometimes when you don't want them to be. But anyways, core waste dump completed at Great Wasteland 5. Now building a battle station. Fantastic. So your pollution problem will be under control here in a couple turns. And then battle station completed at Lost Souls Prime. Now building subterranean farms. Nice. Getting you a little bit more food population going up. And then once you're done with that... Um, should we get the core waste dump? And eh, terraforming is actually more important. So we have more, uh, um, more credits available. And then we have a couple anomalies that I don't care about. No, I said I don't care about them. Go away. Move all the fleet in. And yeah. Let's get ready to start engaging the Barathi. Try to take over the system. Engage, engage! They have a military outpost level 21. Let's see, let's see what they have. Yes, we're going to war. We're being warmongers. We're trying to take over the entire galaxy by any means necessary. Battle of Alcor. All right, so this is a normal military base. Let's see what you have on you. You have 1,300 health, 380 shields, so shield technology is pretty weak. Good to know, good to know. Um, you have 10 phasers, you have phaser research. Okay, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Eight miraculate missiles, um, one point defense phaser, and one ion pulse beam. Interesting. Uh, battle pods for additional space, heavy armor for a bunch of armor resistance. Okay, good to know. And then battle scanner for increased weapon accuracy, or beam weapon accuracy. I think we can still easily take this on. So 
Let's move all of our capital ships in. Boo, 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 boo. Took the shields down on our cruiser. That's impressive. Also, none of these guys are updated. I just remembered that. They still don't have the uh, the shield upgrade. There we go. There we go. Their shields are down. Nice. And our Titan has not even has just gotten in range. <laughs> awesome. Victory for Savannas. Indeed. We didn't. We took just a slight amount of damage to one of our cruisers. I was counting on your avarice to keep you away, but you have no respect, not even for your own gains. Nope. I just want to kill things. Sorry, Mr. Bearman. It's not you. It's me. Do they have a jump drive here? Okay, we may have to kill that. So it takes longer for their fleet to get here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to build a jump drive right here as well. Mm. All right. Send our turn. Alrighty, a lot of stuff has happened. Holy crap. So Angel Moon Prime has grown. Awesome. You're getting really, really big. If you focus a little bit more on research. Uh, Great Wasteland 5 has grown. Nice, nice. You're growing really rapidly as well. I want you to do your next terraforming once you get that built. Uh, Sujuk 3 has grown. Sujuk 3 is getting close to maxing out. Awesome, awesome. Also, you do not have an advanced data center yet. Need to get one of those. We get even more research going. Um, Angel Moon 3 has grown. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, core Waste Stump has grown. Or, psh, Core Waste Stump has grown. Core Waste Stump has been completed on, um... Go away! I don't care if you're playing Euro Truck. This isn't what the Euro Truck Simulator is. Uh, Angel Moon Prime has grown. <laughs> Terraforming into a Gaia world. Uh, planetary Bombardment Destroyer has been completed at Gozen 4. Cool. A battleship has been completed at Sajuk 2. Now building Soil Enrichment Facility. Cool. <laughs> You're still growing. You have a slight more population you can do. Destroyer has been completed at Oracle Prime. Now building a frigate. Cool. Um, soil enrichment facility completed at, at Sajuk Prime. Now building pollution processor. Nice, nice. And core waste dump completed at Tenheiser Gate Prime. Now building advanced data center. Awesome. Cool. Things are looking good. And we gotta move all of these uh, newly built ships into um, um, up here. Do, 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 do. Um, we'll move you in a moment. I'm gonna move the uh, battleship up here. Hmm. Actually, you. I can start moving you up here. Okay. So now I want to go over here, destroy the jump gate first so they can't bring in reinforcements. Alright. 
we'll start destroying this mi next military outpost and then start taking care of the planets. Cool. And you guys can move in here in a moment as well. Grant me this, potentate, that we may learn from your opulence. Okay. You want to give me a a positronic computer that gives me a lot better energy weapon accuracy for nothing, dude? Okay. Sure, I'll take that. We are pleased that you are pleased, stranger. Oh, is he doing this because he feels threatened by my um by my fleet? So he's just trying to do the um his best to please me so I don't go to war with him. Okay. Will not complain. Just find it interesting. Hey, Taro has leveled up, so now he has very high morale. Awesome. Tenheiser Gate has grown. Nice. Nice, nice. Um, oh yeah, we'll just, we'll keep having Tenizer Gate focus on research. July 3 has grown. Cool. You actually can't really grow anymore until I terraform you into a Gaia planet. So just more research. All Souls 3 has grown. Nice. You're kind of in the same boat. You're maxed out on your units, so you just have to um, grow your research. A colony ship has been completed at Karak Prime. Cool. Now I'm building another colony ship. Cool. Let's move you up here. Join your other colony ship, buddy. And now you get over here. We'll fight this one. Actually, we might as well just auto-resolve because it's, it's literally a 100% chance of winning. Yeah. Okay. Bring you up here. Join the fleet. Wait. Why are you... Why are you... Okay, whatever. It's like, why do you like this? Why are you joining into one large fleet? A carrier has been completed at Tenheiser Gate. Now building another carrier. Cool. Cool. Move you up here. Uh, terraforming completed at Great Wasteland 3. Great Wasteland 3 is now a Tier 3 planet. Now a Swamp planet. Hope you focus maximum on um, production of food. Get a lot of this done. And then, let's see, you got your core waste dump facility built, right? Yeah. Um, I want you to build me a battle station, an advanced data center, a space elevator, definitely. Um, and then after that, maybe continue terraforming. Yeah. Exporting 7.5 of your food out. What are we doing on the other ones? Oh, that's the one I literally just checked. Boopity boo! You're importing 9.6. Yeah, because you don't produce as much food as the other ones. What about you? Exporting 5.1. You are exporting 7.2. Yeah, because you're a Gaia world. So you have maximum amount of food production you can get. gonna kill our research well let's see how how far would that actually affect us nope doesn't really matter all right good to know it will still take four turns no matter what i do but if we get food boosting like really high we can get these plants like super developed and then once they're completely developed we can just focus a whole bunch on research Alright, and then, uh, 
a Psychtronic computer has been acquired through research technology, which means that we can go to our blueprints, I believe, and we can upgrade everything to have better uh, computers so we have better beam accuracy. I believe every single one of them use it because we use nothing. We use primarily beams. So we'll... Oh, except for you. Oh, yeah. Because I like this the way it is. You upgrade this. 631 attack. Wow. I think that's the only one I really want to change. Yeah. Upgrade everything else. Hee <laughs> Cool. Now, once we take over the system, we're probably going to keep our fleet here and upgrade them because there are a couple technologies behind. And we have a lot of money saved up, so this upgrade should be extremely simple. I wonder why these aren't combining. Is there actually a limit of how large I can make my fleet? Oh well. Oh, maybe it's uh, it's because it's still the same turn. Never mind. I know what's going on. I can't combine because one moved and one attacked the same turn. All those ships moving around. And we got a lot of stuff going. Holy crap. Uh, Karmic Prime has grown. Yay, more population. Cool. Um, see, did I ever build the core waste dump on you? No, I didn't. Okay. So once you get done with that next one, get the core waste dump going. We can focus completely on production. Uh, Great Wasteland 2 has grown. These ones should be growing very rapidly because of all the food production that we have going on. Now we got more research. Cool. Uh, Great Wasteland Prime has grown. Nice, nice. More research. Uh, Great Wasteland 3 has grown. Kill. Cool. Uh, battle Station completed at... Great Wasteland 5, now building Advanced Data Center. Cool, get more research and stuff going. Uh, cruiser completed AZ23769, now building a cruiser. Cool. That's what I like to see. Uh, spaceport completed at um, Glide 2, now building Soil Enrichment Facility. Awesome. So what's going on with you? Oh yeah, you, you still haven't built your pollution thing. That's fine. And soil enrichment facility completed at Sujuk 2. Now currently doing nothing. Okay. Um. Let's have you focus completely on everything here. Uh, we can upgrade you to a star fortress, but it's not really required because this planet is well far away from the from the battle zone. And well, we're getting close to maxing out our uh, our um fleet hmm um I mean it'll give the planet something to do but yeah let's go ahead and upgrade to a star fortress okay and now we should be able to combine these together There we go. Now we have one large fleet. Because <laughs> I don't think there's a limit of how big we can actually make the fleet. Your limitation is just how many uh, command points you have available. Um, Let's go after this one first. Nah, let's go after the prime. Ooh, they have a battle station here, a tier two uh, um, station. 
with a powerful missile base. Interesting. Go ahead and see if we can do this. We have like a 98% chance of winning this. This should be no problem. Bright light! Bright light! Cool. What are you armed with? Let's see. Defense-wise, the battle station has 5,600 health. Which I don't think that's as much as my Titan. It's a little bit less than my Titan. Not too bad. It's a lot more health than the normal battle uh, space station. 2,000 shields. So pretty powerful shields. Weapon-wise, we have 30 phase, 30 point defense phasers. Um, seven heavily mounted enveloping ion pulse beams. One heavily mounted enveloping fusion beam. Um, three heavily mounted and continuously firing phasers. Um, two heavily mounted continue fi firing phas phasers, uh, six uh, mercilent missiles, and six fast moving heavily armored mercilent missiles. Much more arm armored than the, the traditional space station. And for specials, we have battle pods for additional space, um, heavy armor for the additional resilience on armor, multi phase shields, so that's so they have more um, shield health because of the multi phase shield ability. Uh, do, 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 a range master targeting unit. Your master targeting unit corrects for long range targeting accuracies and beam weapons, increasing beam hit chance at long range. Interesting. That's an interesting uh, module. And then shield capacitor, which activates to activate emergency shield. And then a battle scanner. Interesting. Very, very interesting. How big, how powerful is their missile based weapons? We have point defense phasers. Um, 30 Mercilent Missiles, and 9 Heavily Armored Fast Moving Mercilent Missiles. Along with Battle Pods for more space, Heavy Armor, and EC, EC, uh, ECM Jammer. Okay! This is gonna be interesting. We might lose a few ships. You boys, I want you to move in to attack that target. Um, you boys, same thing. Move in, and all of the capital ships engage the battle station. Let's go, boys. Some of you will probably die. There's a lot of firepower on the station. Yep, there goes that frigate. Go, go, go! Shields are down. That's good, that's good. Titan's in range. Firing from extreme range. Alright, alright, not bad. Cool. Now we just have the station. Nice, nice. Okay. So that was a little bit more difficult. But we still have an overwhelming fleet against what they're uh, fighting us with. Um, so some of our ships took some damage. Um, we lost one frigate, perfectly fine. Or two frigates. Um, they're there for sacrificing so that uh, our larger ships don't get destroyed. Because they're much easier to, to replace than like a battleship or a titan. And we took 4% damage. Not bad. Alright, well... We got six population, six marines, and eleven structures. Let's see if we kill them all in one round. Close, close. We'll take one more round to wipe this planet out. Yee, there are negatives on credits. Um, how are they doing tax-wise? They're at 40%, so they're at tax level 4. Most of the AI seems to use that for some reason. Got a cruiser ready. So we'll go ahead and move her up. Oh, 
This is our battleship. We can move that one in now. Same with this fleet. Jeez. The fleet is so large. How many ships do we have total? 23 frigates, 19 destroyers, 12 cruisers, 6 battleships, and 1 titan. Yeah, we definitely need another titan. Which I believe we are building down here somewhere. I remember. I think it's this one. Yeah. Building a Titan here. Still got 14 turns. It still takes quite some time to build a Titan, even with our current production level. But once all these plans get developed, we can focus all of them to um, assist one planet. And then we'll start pumping out large capital ships quickly. Alrighty. Next turn. Igara has grown. Yee. Uh, we could, yeah, probably just keep focusing on research for Higara. I mean, I could focus on food to get the population growing faster, but you're already making a decent amount of credits. I don't really need anything else on this planet. Other than, I mean, we could upgrade to a Star Fortress. It is Higara. It probably should be heavily defended. Angel Moon 2 has grown. Nice, nice. Doing pretty good as well. Um, Tannis 2 has grown. Cool. Do the same thing. We'll focus on food and then start focusing on getting production level up. Uh, frigate was completed at Oracle Prime, which is now building another frigate. Cool. The good news is about having all these plants are starting to focus on building up ships. If we lose a few in a fight, we can just replace them. We're, that, we're at that point in the game where uh, um, the economy and production levels are, are kind of just spewing out ships quickly. So if we lose a handful in combat, it's not that big of a deal. Advanced data center completed at Tenheiser Gate. Now working on terraforming. Cool. And then Neutron Collider completed at Angel Moon 3. Now building hol holodeck simulator. Cool. Cool, cool. We have almost 200 income per turn now. Jeez. Alright, let's wipe out this planet. Alright, planet has been destroyed. Well, not destroyed, but it's been wiped out of all uh, Barathe. Nice. You, Mr. Colony Ship, I'll move you here. We have another one coming up here somewhere. I think it's this one. Yeah, you just go ahead and start making your way there. It should be ready to go by the time he actually gets there. Hmm. Then where is my space guy? I'm going to move you here. So we can cut off that area, because I'm going to... Actually, we got to go down that area. Never mind. Um, I want you to move here, so I can put another warp gate there. We're going to be fighting this one. Take that one over. Fight that one. Fight that one. And make our way all the way over to Orion. Also, speaking of that... Um, any big planets? Um, once you get your Star Fortress built, start building me more colony ships. We need to start pumping some of those out to recolonize these planets. Oh my god, so many so much stuff happens. <laughs> Alright, so Juke 2 has grown. Nice. Now 19 population, focusing more on research. Um, AZ23769 has grown as well. Nice. I'm going to have you focus completely on food, just to get you pumped out as quickly as possible. Um, Sujuk Prime has grown. Cool, cool. Uh, Tenheiser Gate Prime has grown. Nice, we're getting more research. Uh, colony Ship is completed at Karak Prime, which is now building their core waste dump. Nice.
There we go. Focus on getting your population back up. And battle station completed at Great Wasteland. Now building the advanced data center. Cool. Um, advanced data center completed at Great Wasteland 5. Cool. Now starting to terraform again. Uh, battle station completed at Glide 3. Now building on um, pollution processor. Try to get the pollution under control. Terraforming complete at Sejuk 3. Nice. Sejuk 3 is now a swamp planet. Cool. If you focus just everything down here as we grow the population more. <laughs> uh, fungal farms completed at, ten at Tannis 4. Now building colonial revenue service. Nice. 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 So you're starting to slowly grow as well. Cool. Uh, planetary Radiation Shield completed at Tannis 3. Hey, Tannis 3 is now a barren planet. Awesome. That's what I'd like to see. Uh, I want you to build me... Let's see, how are you doing on population? Not the best. Um, actually, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll keep those down here. Maximize production. So we can get... Soil enrichment facility, subterranean farm, moon laboratory, research laboratory, spaceport, um, actually, government facility. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. Actually, I kind of want to emphasis a little bit more on getting research done. Yeah, never mind. Your credits are negative. Um, so we need to focus on growth. So growth, growth, or growth, research, research, growth, um, and then that. We'll do something like that. Yeah. We'll do that. And Space Factory has completed a jump gate. Hey, cool. So we can get up here a little bit faster. Scared the ever-living crap out of me. <laughs> One moment, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. There was a car going by that spooked my dog. Anyways. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, my. This fleet is getting ridiculously big. We have a 12,400 armor rating and 2,100 weapon rating. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and we can also, we can scrap that. We don't have to worry about them coming through that area anymore. Boop, 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 boop. boop. Boo, boo, boo. All right, Mr. Colony Ship, I need you to make your way up here. Uh, space Factory. Go down here. What else do we have? Frigate. Bring you down here as well. All right. Let's end our turn. Oracle Prime has grown. Nice, nice. You have a lot of food on you. Holy crap. Um, your hustle. I also like the fact that the Oracle is making a lot of money. It makes sense from homeworld lore. <laughs> it's the it's the dig side with all the riches. Battleship com has been completed on Higara. Now building a star fortress. Cool. How many battleships is that now? Seven? Good gravy. Good googly moogly. And then Frigate completed it goes in Prime, which is now building their um, research laboratory, which will increase the amount of research they produce. Nice, nice. And then Interphase Fission has now been completed. Up, so we can get an Interphase Drive. Uh, which is a very powerful um, hyperdrive. 
Interphase drive further manipulates the folded hyperspace bubble, phasing it in and out of the com uh, in phasing it in and out of normal space several hundred times a second. The incredible energies produced by this process inc increases ship's movement speed. And this is both travel speed and combat speed. And then we got the neutronium bomb. Neutronium bomb releases uh, de uh, degenerate matter on the surface of its target, instantly inflicting damage from gravi gravitic implosion effects and the resulting explosive decompression of the neutronium itself. This is basically a very powerful bomb. We're just gonna stick with basic bombs. I don't really care. We have a large enough fleet where we can just bomb every living crap out of the enemy. So, interphase drive it is. The philosophers have gleaned a new insight. Yeah, and we also shrunk bombs more too. And got plasma beam modifications. Nice. All right. So, more combat speed, more beam defense. Um, because of faster combat speed, a little bit more production, so we get a little bit more defense. So our combat speed is five on our frigate now. Nice. So is our travel speed, the same. And combat speed on destroyers increased a little bit more. Same with our travel speed. So our combat speed on our destroyers are now four. So I'm assuming cruisers are now going to upgrade to a little bit higher than 3. 3.5? Okay. Not bad, not bad. What battleships? What are they upgrading to? About 2.7 it looks like. Two point seven five. Nice. Noise, noise, noise. And then our Titan, which I am not. Oh. Yeah, I'm not upgrading this. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, graviton cannons are a lot more powerful than the, the phasers, I think. Is there just... Why is this reducing my damage so much? <gasps> oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, because it's going to get rid of something else. Because phasers take more room. I just want the better engine, please. Bring our Titans up to 1.5 on speed. Nice. Our battleship is very, very powerful. Holy crap. Hmm. Indeed. All right. What is the will of the fiefdoms, Marshall? Now, the next thing I want is planetoid construction, so we can start construction of the Doom Star. Heck yeah! And we're gonna use the Doom Star to um, do a lot of fun stuff to the galaxy. I don't know how else to explain it. But yeah, 13 turns, and we'll have construction of the Doom, uh, the, or at least the research of the Doom Star done, and we start constructing it. All right. So, let's start bombing the ever living crap out of this planet. This should be destroyed in one round. It shouldn't be that difficult. Hey. I'd like to see. And our leader got upgraded too. We have faster travel speed. Alright. And now we're... Oh yeah, you're already on your way. So now we need to defend this area. Um, until we get these two planets under our control. And then we'll start advancing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, you, I guess I can move you here and yeah, build a jump gate here. 
Oh wait, I can't actually do that until I own this property. Never mind. Boys head up here. And send our turn. Oh my god. Is GNN. Oh no. Safety protocols are being questioned in the wake of a devastating industrial accident on one of their colonies. The intense radiation levels threaten to kill millions of civilians. Who's been doing nuclear research on the Great Wasteland planets? God dang it, guys. I told you to leave that on Karak. Anyways, um, who is the troublemaker? Is it this one? Oh, it is. Yeah, so basically it just produced a whole bunch of pollution, which is going to be fixed in one turn because of the fact that we have um, the, uh, the the core dump things. That's hilarious. <laughs> I love that. Anyways, Karak Prime has grown. Nice. Karak Prime is now back up to 14. Cool. Growing rapidly. In fact, I'm probably... Eh, you've... You're even right now, so I want to keep your population all the way up. Uh, doo -doo -doo. A Goli Prime has grown. Nice, nice. Goli is producing a lot of research for us. Holy crap. It's also producing a lot of credits because you're just trading. Nice. Uh, Great Wasteland 5 has grown. Awesome, awesome. Focusing more on terraforming. Let's see, if I can get you to focus a little bit more on research, can we cut that down by a turn? That's a negative, good buddy. Alright. I'm lagging! Stop lagging! Weird. Anyways, Sajuk 3 has grown. Nice, nice. More research. Um, Clyde 2 has grown. Cool. Boop, 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 boop. Carrier, um, the next carrier has been constructed at Tenheiser Gate 2, which is now building a frigate. Cool. Very cool. Still have five more population to grow on this planet. Crap. Uh, advanced data center completed at Great Wasteland 3, now building space elevators. Cool. Uh, pollution processor completed at Sojuk Prime, now building core waste dump. Nice, nice. Um, subterranean farm completed at Lost Souls, um, now terraforming. Awesome. Credits are still a little low, but you're growing pretty rapidly, so that's fine. Terraforming completed at Great Wasteland Prime. Great Wasteland Prime is now a normal Terran planet, which is really cool. If you focus more on keeping up food production up, you guys can grow rapidly. And then, I don't know, um, we can upgrade you to a Star Fortress. I don't know how many command points I'm going to need to build a Doom Star, but I'm assuming it's going to be a decent amount. Takes 10 to build Titan, so I'm assuming a Doom Star is gonna be like 20, maybe 25. Be something like that. Uh, terraforming complete at Sarum Prime. Ooh. Yeah, Sarum is now a swamp planet. Nice. Get you to focus on growth. And then let's get your research going. Get all this built. Start pumping out some research on Sarum. Oh. I took too much out. Um, it's fine though. I'd rather focus on getting production and um, food going and get these planets built all the way up. And then um, having to wait just one more turn. Industrial accident happened on Great Wasteland 5. That was the event that happened. Um, space factory has completed its asteroid mine. Nice. Need you to start making your way down here. 
And then you. Let's destroy this um, um, asteroid mine. There we go. There we go. Uh, ooh. Shield restoration. Or ship, ship repair for turn, I think, is what we need to start going with with this leader. So our, our ships, uh, when they're not actually doing anything, can repair a little bit faster. It's definitely more important for the larger ships than the smaller ones. But anyways, colony ship has arrived. Nice! There you go there. The colony ship. Give me the planet! I want the planet! Look at that beautiful planet. It's so bootyful. So full of booty. Alright, so we have low gravity here. That's fine. It's a Terran planet, so it should grow pretty rapidly. Uh, but let's do our usual automated factory, hydroponic farm, biosphere, uh, a neutron collider, and government support facility, maybe? Something like that. We'll go ahead and buy that out so we can get that done quickly. Because we have tons of money. I can actually develop this like with over the next few turns very rapidly. Boop boop. Boop. Boop boop boop. Uh, derp, derp, derp. Asteroid laboratory. Eh, build me the mine. The mine will be fine. Alright, Mr. Carrier. Move you in here. So we can get ready to start fighting these guys. How are we doing on fire? Oh my god, we have like almost double the firepower of the Barathe. And we have like three te three more technology than the Barathe as well. I haven't even been focusing on like technology that will be done in a few turns. So yeah, we're basically to the point where we're snowballing this. Which is why there's only going to be a few more episodes of this coming out. Because I want to build the Doomstar. I want to take over Orion. And I want to start destroying the Barathe with a bunch of uh, Doom lasers. <laughs> and I think once we wipe out the Barathe, we're just going to end it there. There's no point of fighting the Cylons or the other one because we're, we're already OP. And we're above their technology um, curve. So we'll just literally stomp them out. And... The battles won't be really exciting because uh, it'll just be us fighting um, uh, inferior um, um, units. Oh my. Hey, we finally got our next spy recruited. Sweet. So we can get our counter espionage up higher. And we could actually just start getting a couple spies. And just have them protect us from the enemy. Great Braceland Prime has grown. Nice. More research. More research. That's what I like to see. Uh, Sarum Prime has grown. Again, more research. Nice. Uh, Lost Souls 2 has grown. Awesome. More production. Need to continue growing because your credits are in the negative. Um, Terran Prime has grown. Nice. He's in completely on food. Uh, Spy Echo has been recruited, a.k.a. Jerry. So we have Sam, Clover, and Alex, and then we have Jerry. Let's go ahead and hire another one. Um, this one will be um, Bob. Yes, these are all totally Spy's characters. Just in case you're curious. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Frigate has been completed at Oracle, which are now building the Astro University, which will really help with research here. I love how the Oracle has turned into a planet that is highly um, 
that is producing a ton of credits and a ton of research. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Research laboratory completed at Sarum Prime, so we got a little bit more research going on there. And now building advanced data center. Carrier completed at uh, Azu2369, um, which is now building a planetary bombardment ship. And pollution processor completed at Galai, which is now building, or now terraforming into a Gaia world. Um, subterranean farm completed at Lost Souls 2. Nice, nice, lots of food going on. Now building the moon laboratory for more research. Uh, terraforming completed at Lost Souls 3. You are now a tundra. Nice. Make sure you focus on growth so you get a maximum amount of credits and everything going on. Build your advanced data center, build your astro university. Um, do you need robo miners? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I don't really plan to make you a uh, a large ship producer, so it's not really that bad of a deal. Mm -hmm. um, we also don't really produce a whole lot of production. Eh, let's go all out. Screw it. Focus on getting your research done and then get your spaceport built. Advanced um, automated factory completed at Alcor Prime. Hydroponic farm um, next in queue. Do 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 do. Nice, nice. We have over two hundred credits coming in per turn now. Yeah, we're gonna start speeding this up a little bit. Generators. All right, advanced data center completed at Sujik Three. Now you currently are not doing anything. Um, build yourself. You need a space elevator? Not really. You don't really produce enough to really matter on that. Uh, you're exporting your um, production at the moment to help other planets. Actually, let me see how well that works. I think I gotta apply it first. Yeah, it's going to the main uh, Sajuk one. Importing 26. Holy crap. <laughs> cool. Yeah, they'll allow us to get the Doomstar out quickly if we do that with all the Great Wasteland planets. Uh, do do do. I think the next thing you need is maybe subterranean farms. I mean, we're, you're importing. Yeah. You're importing from the other planets, so you're not actually producing enough. So subterranean farms. You are exporting. I can actually bring a little bit of this down to get that built faster. Here we go. And you're you're balanced actually, but that's also because you're a large planet compared to the other ones. You also have a lot more population. All right, colony ship has arrived. Let's go ahead and colonize this one. Yay, into the crater. Alrighty. Um, automated factory. Uh, what kind of abilities do we have here? We just have high gravity. Alright, good to know. 
automated factory, hydroponic farm, biosphere, fungal farm. Uh, doop, doop, doop. And then I think government support facility. Nice. We'll go ahead and speed that one up so that we actually have a little bit of production going on. Which will be nice. Then where is my fleet? I have lost my fleet. It is not good. Nope, that's not what I want. I wanted fleets! Fleets! Where are you, uh, little fleet? You. Oh, you are there at the asteroid. Alright, cool. You there. Alright. Okay, Mr. Colony Ship, move you up here. So once we destroy this one, we'll have something to fight back. We have a carrier that is very, very far away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So many ships built. So many ships! Um, and you... Yeah, I'm going to upgrade you. It's fine. Oh yeah, that's what I need to do with my fleet. Um, we need to actually bring our fleet back to a planet so we can get it upgraded. Because a lot of these ships still don't have the, uh, um, the bonus shield thing and they don't have the fast speed thing. So let me go ahead and move you. Oh my. Okay. Some of these upgrades are a little expensive. It's gonna cost 38,000 to upgrade my entire fleet? Holy crap, can I at least upgrade my Titan? No, we don't actually have enough. Dang. Hmm. Okay. I thought I had a lot of money. Apparently I don't. Who knew? I can upgrade one of my battleships. I can upgrade these because these ones already had the main upgrades. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get those ones going. We'll get some of the cheap ones going. Upgrade the destroyers and frigates. The speed for those ones is actually more important. The big ships. Good gravy. Okay, well, we're going to have a mixture of a fleet. Because I am not waiting until I get $37,000 to uh, um, to upgrade my entire fleet. That is not going to happen. Or 37. Actually, that's 37 trillion credits because the currency in this game is a billion credits. So if one, one BC is one billion credit. So we'll need 38 trillion credits to upgrade our fleet. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, let's go through one more turn and then um, we'll end it for this episode. So Tenheiser Gate has been um, uh, has grown in population now, continuing to increase their um, their research output. They have eighty six research on Tenheiser Gate. That is that is almost twenty percent of our total research output. It is amazing. <laughs> uh, Angel Moon has grown. Nice, nice. Looking good. Got two more population to grow until you get a, your Gaia planet going. Your Gaia transformation. Great Wasteland 2 has grown as well. So more research on Great Wasteland. Awesome. Still continuing to build that Titan. Uh, Great Wasteland 3 has grown as well. So kind of in the same boat. Growing research as we wait to get the planet fully developed. And one more turn and you get a space elevator built. Nice. Uh, Lost Souls Prime has grown. Nice, nice. Good to see. 
more production, more terraforming. Um, Neutron Collider um, at 8x2 has grown. Now building, um, or not grown, but got something done. So now they're building a Robo Miner, which is pretty cool. Once this planet actually starts growing, it's going to start growing rapidly. <laughs> Uh, hydroponic farm completed at Alcor Prime, which is now building biospheres, which is awesome. Boop, boop. Uh, automated factory completed at Alcor 3, now building hydroponic farm, which I will go ahead and speed up so we can get that done. We'll have a little bit of population growing. Uh, threatening fleet detected. That's a space factory game. You need to try to you need to kind of you know understand what a threatening fleet is. My fleet is a threatening fleet. This little space guy is not a threatening fleet. And they're starting to try to build the um, a military outpost here. So yeah, we need to start advancing and continuing to uh, make our way down here. Boop 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 boop. Mister Cruiser. Bring you up here. And we'll end our turn. Okay. And that's where we're going to put it for this episode. So yeah, um, we got new technology research. We now have faster engines. Unfortunately, we can't really upgrade our fleet to the better engines, um, mainly because there are actually a couple technologies behind. Um, some of our, our cruisers and our titans uh, don't have the um, multi-phase shield, so um, it wants to add that as well as the uh, um, the engine upgrade. And it's going to help in combat. Probably not going to help with the battleships and uh, and titan because it, it's going to they're they're really big and slow, um, so it's going to help them more with moving around the map faster. But it'll definitely help with like the frigates and destroyers and those type of ships. But uh, yeah, we got nine more turns until we get the ability to start building Doom Stars, and I am so looking forward to that because if we're gonna take all of these, all of the planets in the Great Wasteland, link them, link them together, and just have them all focus on building that one massive ship. Um, the good news is that the Titan's gonna be built before the time we get this done, so that's awesome. So we can have all four, of, all of these, just focus on building one ship. It's gonna be freaking awesome but anyways i think that's gonna do it guys um probably have about one or two more episodes i would think um and then we'll be we'll be done with this series uh because i am gonna start going through here and fighting these planets and making our way over to orion and test out the doom star and that's that's pretty much it um that's pretty much gonna be the end because uh, the right now as you can see here we are superior to the enemies um we're not really gonna be fighting the antarians because in this game the antarians aren't an actual faction they're just a mechanic um that comes after you when you're when your fleet gets too powerful so there's no way to actually like defeat them you can't go to like their dimension or anything like that to defeat them so um yeah it's just uh it's not quite that complicated <laughs> so yeah um so yeah, we're going to fight the Barathi, we're going to build a Doom Star, we're going to destroy some of the Barathi planets with the Doom Star, we're going to take over Orion, um, colonize that, because um, this is the, the perfect uh, planet in the game, and I really, really want it. And I think it's the only planet in the game that actually has two moons orbiting it, so you can put two uh, moon bases on it, which is pretty cool. I don't think there's an, uh, any planet in the game that actually has two moons around orbiting it. So that's cool. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end this here. Hope you guys are enjoying this. If you are, please leave a like. If you like what I do, consider subscribing. And I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, this is Captain Soban signing out.